<laughs> Hello, survivors, unicorns, wonderful people. It's just me today, so be gentle in the comments, please. I have to mod myself now. So don't you give me lots of trouble, you guys. <laughs> so, how is everybody today? How are all the wonderful survivors today? <sighs> Let's see who gets here first. I hear people. A lot of people don't realize I'm right here and that I can see and hear them. Of course, I never know how many people are out there and can see and hear me too. Hi, Rugalyn, first, you're first, all right? Yeah, you're first. Hi, next Alex. You guys get too crazy in here. Hi, Polly. And we're gonna just, the whole thing, okay? <laughs> Hi, Darla, Rugalyn. I'm on my own, so be gentle with me, please. I'm like a virgin. <laughs> Hi, Black Patriot USA. Why does this keep coming down? I need to make it so it stays the right place. Hi, Easily Distracted. That's a perfect name <laughs> for me. <laughs> it did get spirited the other night. Yes, it did. Oh, look at I got my glasses up here, but... How is everybody? I made a fire today. Survivor Sunday. So I thought I'm going to make a fire, see if I can do it without gasoline and any kind of accelerant. Hi, kitty boo boo. So I made a fire outside with some wood and I used straw. And um, I had some rabbit fur from one of my mama rabbits that I had had. Um, it was in a nesting box. So I rabbit fur is very, very good to start a fire. If you can find it, <laughs> it's very, very, very good. I don't know if anybody saw my video out there, but that was the fire I made. Fire pit? No, I don't have a fire pit. I just made a fire out where we used to have like some ring of um, cement blocks out back where we where we made like a little kind of fire pity thing, yeah. I just made my own little fire. I'm learning how to do shit all by myself. So now I can make the fire. I can butcher, process, and cook. Most things. <laughs> okay, thank you. I missed your chat the other day. Oh, you missed a good one. Because <laughs> we're talking about First and Second Amendment rights in, the, in those, right? Mm -hmm. So, but tonight I want to talk about survivors. It's survivors. We're, um, anybody who is still here that has survived abuse, you're a survivor. So I think this should be our day. You learn to cook young. I don't cook well, Polly. I don't think I do. I prefer to be with somebody who likes to cook. I don't mind cooking with somebody. And I like to watch cooking videos all the time. I love to see how to cook things. I just don't like to cook them. <laughs> I love to eat them, though. And I'll keep you company while you cook. <laughs> I guess I can cook. I just don't like to. So, uh, hi, Jungle Jane. You like to bake? I just don't like, it's just, it, you make a big old mess. Bake a big old mess. Okay. And then you got to clean it up. <laughs> it's just a pain in the ass. <laughs> Not fancy cooking. You're still living. Yeah, my husband did have gain weight, so I guess I can cook. <laughs> And it's not too bad. I made something pretty good tonight. Leftover, it's like a recipe. Hi, Von Michelle. I made, um, it's a recipe I have. I didn't have a uh, roast, but I improvised with hamburger. 
So I made some hamburger instead of roast, but uh, it's leftover roast, uh, sweet and sour roast beef. It's really good. It's got like bacon and you make your own like sweet and sour sauce. It's mm, really good. Okay, so what's the news, Cynthia? Did you hear the news? What's the news? I have not heard the news, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you had me at bacon. Oh, yeah, bacon, onions. Hi, Keith. Bacon and onions. And then you use, you're supposed to use uh, apples. Wait, is <laughs> apple vinegar? Is that right? Apple cider vinegar. Howdy, Wendy. You use apple cider vinegar, brown sugar, and caro syrup along with bacon and the onions and all that and you make like a you make like a sauce out of it and then you put your roast beef cut up in there and bacon back in there Ooh, so good put it on top of rice according to stormtroop hippie is prego oh cynthia no way oh my god i think people have called that i've heard that actually before so who knows people have been saying that and i haven't said anything because I didn't know. I still don't know. Who knows? I hope that's not true. Oh my God, that would be horrible. Yes, that poor kid. Especially the more and more we know about her. Ooh. If you knew everything about her. <laughs> Hi, James. How old is Hippie? I don't know. Does anybody know how old Naughty Aubrey is. Wonder whose it is. Huh. It's hard to know. I wonder how far along she is. I hate to view any of them, but I hopped on to see if it was empty. Just in, oh man, that sucks. AP has a Twitter clip. No effing with that. That is so... Oh, my God. He has a Twitter clip and Oreo is it? Oh, my God. There's so much going on, you guys. Wendy Spirit is just guessing about 40 or so, but then she has been put away. Uh. No, I'm wondering how far along she is, whose baby it is. I wonder how many people it could be. be oh, my God. <laughs> you guys. These people. <clears throat> there is so much bad shit going on right now. So many different people. Is Riddell have his court tomorrow? I think it is tomorrow. Oreos. I thought it was the day before voting. Oh, no shit. Always oh, in Maryland with Big D and Hippie Mama. <laughs> I wonder too, Christopher. 815 court tomorrow. Wow. Well, let's see what happens at court tomorrow, huh? For Sienna's court, or David's court. Yeah, tomorrow at 8.30. Justice Sir Bam! We can only hope. I need my pop. And now, our commercial break from Coca-Cola. Bye-bye, <laughs> David. Hi, my Murphy. Okay, I keep telling you guys, be gentle with me. I, I'm, a, I'm a virgin of being all by myself on a channel with no mods, so please be gentle with me. <laughs> uh, I found my Coke. I, I found some Coca-Cola, Ruth, for sure. He wants locked up to be the 76 hero, probably. He'll make out even if he goes in, I'm sure. Guys, they will let him off with a warning. Uh, I think you're right, Black Patriot. I keep saying I don't think he'll get anything. 
Hi, D. Um, I'm always wrong when I, I, when I think something's going to happen. So if I think he's going to get it, he probably won't. <laughs> it's a wild, wild west. For some people, it's a wild, wild west. In the wild, wild west, they don't try to take away your guns, do they? Not supposed to take away people's guns. That's a bad idea. <laughs> so let, I want to talk about victims tonight, though. Because there's different kinds of victims. And there's different responses that people who have been victims go through. Oh, no mods? Yeah. <laughs> quiet, quiet Lori. Is that what you mean? Quiet Lori? Huh? Yeah. Um, victims respond in different ways. And what I'm finding out is there are victims who, like me, who, once they're exposed to the abuse, it's something that they can't stand, okay? It's a destroyer of lives. They don't, they, they can't stand to be around it. Hi, Terminator. They can't stand to be around abusers, um, uh, abuse, um, or any of that. They don't want it. They would never be around a pedophile. Then there's abusers who become enablers and actually help pedophiles. Hi, baby. Or they actually become the actual abusers. Um, whether it's actually becoming pedophiles themselves or bringing children to the pedophiles. Um, you see it a lot in prostitution. You'll see prostitutes who, um, when they're too old to prostitute anymore, will end up um, getting girls in for her pimp. Yes, abuse is general, general generational. Yes, 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 Wendy. That's what I'm trying to say is that's how that cycle continues is because you have different kinds of victims and survivors. You have survivors who enable that um, generational, I call it a curse, but that's maybe that's too nice because that doesn't let people take responsibility, but it's, it, you know, it follows generational because some survivors say, no way, I won't let this happen. Um, and they're on the lookout for it and they try to stop it. Not that they always can, but they at least try. Then there's the ones that enable it. Or there's a mixture of both. Men get abused, but people think it's a small amount. It's bigger because the men don't report it. Yes, Keith. Yes. Yes, there are a lot of men that have been abused, um, sexually and physically. Men are physically abused, and a lot of time it's because they don't want to hit back. It's not because they're wussies or they're too weak. It's because they don't want to fight back. Uh, Ruth says, my mother couldn't stand to be around any kind of abuse. We avoided some of her family because they excused behaviors that drove her crazy. Yes, um, Jungle Jane says people can turn a blind eye. Okay, so Ruth, yes, that's what an example I've used before is that um, for me with pedophilia, um, <clears throat> my mom's uh, stepbrother was allowed at Christmas. And so it was natural for me to be there and know that he was a bad man. He had hurt children and all that, but it was natural to be a let him at Christmas, right? Um, so because she allowed that when I had a son, I was wanting to bring him to this Christmas. Um, as a baby, I brought him to Christmas and I just didn't think it was a big deal, you know, because that's what I had done. My parents had done to me and my husband, my first husband, it was a wake up call because he was like, that's not normal. I don't want my child being there. Because I was just like, well, it's not, nothing's going to happen to him. We'll just watch him. You know, that's how I was because that's how I'd been raised. So I want you to see 
that there's some things that people do that they just don't mean to uh, because they were raised that way. And then there's other people who actually become um, enablers or become um, people who help abusers help abuse other people and, and other children. What's APP channel? I think you mean AP channel. I don't know. I'm not talking about AP right now. I'm talking about the survivors um, of abuse and stuff. So it's Survivor Sunday. <laughs> so grab your Coca-Cola or your beer or your weed, whatever the hell you do. <laughs> Have some and let's go. What do you guys think? I mean, like if you if you uh, have a, if you're a survivor or you know a survivor, do you think I'm on the right track? Because I mean, I'm just telling you that's how I feel. Lemonade. I'm starting to see it quite a bit. People who were into different things, um, prostitution, um, child trafficking. Um, all different kinds of abuse uh, situations where maybe they were abused personally. And it doesn't have to do with child trafficking or anything, but even just like simple, not simple, because there's really no simple abuse. But I don't know how to say it. From the very large to the very small, I think that it's the same. And it just keeps making it go on and on and on because it perpetuates the cycle, there, that's it, the cycle of abuse. It perpetuates that cycle of abuse. Do you know that um, kids who are exposed to violence in the home have a much higher, much higher chance of becoming abusers themselves? And so it's something we have to all, uh, maybe it's based on personality? I don't know. Hi, guy. Welcome to Survivor Sunday. We made it through another week. Oh, tomorrow is Monday. The world starts again. <laughs> the work world starts again for most people. You think so, Jungle Jane? Genetics? I honestly haven't thought that far through. No, it's because we are taught that abuse is normal. It is up to Yes, Wendy. It's up to us to break the cycles. Um, Mickey, you had verbal and physical from mom. Yes. And verbal abuse. I hate to put down anybody for any kind of abuse. Sexual abuse is not the only abuse there is. Verbal, emotional, physical. Physical can sometimes be the easiest to handle. It's hard to say. Everyone processes things in their own way. Yeah, Keith, that's kind of what I'm saying. Some people... Uh, I've actually had a woman tell me when I was out protesting that um, that woman that came out, that older lady that came out and had a sign about that I was psycho or something... She actually started yelling at me that I was not an, a, a survivor of abuse because of the way I was acting, that it proved that I was not a survivor of abuse. And she was the real survivor, the one who was um, defending the pedophile cult. She was a, the, the real survivor, you know? Some say abuse is the way you were brought up, but I disagree. I think it could be a mixture, James. Um, and who else said that? Yeah, I think everybody, yeah, okay. Jungle Jane was the one that said genetics. I think it's a, a mixture of both genetics and, um... <laughs> oh, geez. Here we go. See, I'm learning how to do this, guys. There we go. I think I did it right. I think I timed her out right. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, just like being gay, right? Your sexual preferences. There are some people who are born sick in that they have sexual preferences for children. 
just like the rest of us are born with sexual preferences. And then there are people who, just like anybody else, your sexual preferences can be um, exacerbate. <laughs> That's the wrong word. But your, your sexual preferences can be influenced. There's the right word. It can be influenced by how you are raised, um, the, your surroundings, abuse can affect all those things. So yes, it's a combination of both, I think. I could be wrong. I am not, as the other person said, Professor Lori. I'm not professor. I don't have any medical degrees. <laughs> I just, I'm observing this shit. I've been in this stuff. Because there's people who raise their kids perfectly fine and their kids end up being horrible people. And then there's horrible people that have kids who come out of the crappiest shit and become the best people. <laughs> a lot of it has to do with who you are as a person, how you respond to things, your personality, a lot of it. The medications you take. <laughs> And everybody's abuse is different, so <laughs> I'm a fun unicorn. <laughs> I don't have to be a professor. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of women turn gay because they are tired of guys mistreating them. Yeah, Ellie. I think that you might be right. I don't want to say turn gay, but I think a lot of women become attracted to other women. Um, it becomes an attractive option to them because... Uh, They've been so hurt by men. Yes. Oh, is Vaughn not feeling well? Vaughn, I hope you're feeling well. Are you not feeling well? What's wrong with Vaughn, Wendy? I saw you were on earlier, Vaughn. I was listening to you a little bit. <laughs> I just didn't say anything. You guys, I need a pedicure. Like, you got to see this. I'm not, I'm not asking for a pedicure, but look at this. I finally had to do my feet by myself. This is so hilarious. I'm going to show you. Look at these poor, let me see if I can get, these poor tootsies. <laughs> these poor tootsies, they, <laughs> that's the best I could do. <laughs> I don't know if there's one thing that makes me feel feminine and sexy and I like to have, it's my feet to look nice. I like to have my feet all soft and, and having a pedicure and stuff. Everybody has something. <laughs> I know. Everybody has something. I like it when my feet are soft and they're all shaped up. <laughs> my toenails are all shaped up. Thank you. And somebody paints them all nice. And I sit here and I got like paint all over my friggin' toes. I cut my toenail. <laughs> I just can't do it, guys. I am so bad at this. I'm learning. <laughs> and my hands, look at this. My hands are horrible. Look at, I got some fingernail polish on this one because I was trying out colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of funny. But okay. J just for fun. I just had to throw some fun in there. <laughs> we can't be all hard <laughs> can't be all hard shit ah thanks james you know that's the thing the thing is is it you know when i would see somebody when i would be watching i'd watch people real close like in their eyes and shit when i would watch them go by when i was waving and and, and um protesting out here and you see people drive by and you could see somebody who their outside is not that attractive. Let's just say it's not very attractive at all. And I would see them driving by and there was a big old genuine smile and they looked happy. They're like this, you know? <laughs> and they'd look by like this. And I, I'd think, wow, that person is beautiful. And then I'd see the same caliber of outside, you know, driving down the road and they're like this. And I'm like, ew, what an ugly person. Yeah. <laughs> and it really has nothing to do with your outside. It really is about how you express your inside. I'm finding that out. Your outside doesn't have to be perfect, girls or guys. 
You don't have to have your hair just perfect. You don't have to have your teeth just perfect and your face and all this shit, your body. Mm -mm. We, we, we make ourselves think that. We don't have to. <laughs> just be happy. Forget about what you look like to the world and show them the genuine you inside. If it comes out of you, it'll come out. It'll seep out of your face. It'll seep out of, of, of every bit of your being once you forget to be worried about what people think about you. If you can get over what people think about you and really genuinely just start thinking about what you're doing and thinking about, oh, well, I wonder what that person is doing. You know, you after a while, you won't worry about that shit and you can just be genuine. And it's, it's a relief, let me tell you, to not have to always be going around worrying about lying about this. I mean, when I say lying, I mean putting that mask on, you know? It is the inside. I think it's great for guys to get... Yes, Ellie! Are there any men out here that get pedicures? Polly. Oh, he just said it, too. I, I He said, I know 240-pound thug, thuggy thugs that get petties. Yes! I know... I probably shouldn't tell this. I got Echo to go with me uh, for a petty. I love going and getting petties. Mm. I think it's fun to go get a petty with your man. Ooh. I think it's a fun time. <laughs> and then you can go home and get a foot rub. <laughs> oh, Ruth, your son does your feet? Really? Seriously? Yeah, it gets harder to do it, doesn't it? <laughs> the older you get, seriously, when my back was all really bad, and even now, I have trouble, I'll show you. Because like I'm sitting here, right? I got Spike right here with me. You guys see this? There's Spike. <laughs> Spike doesn't care. Hey, are you alive? <laughs> he is alive. Say hi. Say hi, everybody. I don't care. <laughs> See, I don't care. Oh, he's a good boy. <laughs> he already had his dinner. <laughs> In the water. I know. I worry about that too. I worry about that too, baby. But look at Steve. You sit here like this, right? And then you got to get your feet up so you can. You know, do, 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 do. By the time I get done with this and trying to, like this with my old lady eyes, my back is killing me, right? <laughs> and then you got to go the other side. And, ugh. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> that is hard. It does hurt my back to do my feet. Pretzel teeth. <laughs> See, Wendy understands too. It is. It's crazy, isn't it? Why does this keep doing that? I keep messing up with that. There we go. Yeah. It messes up. It's hard. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this thing. I keep doing that so it goes like that. I haven't figured this thing totally out yet myself. There we go. That's it. That's not it. Why am I doing this? Spike needs a petty. Spike does need a petty. Well, him does need some petty. <laughs> he doesn't like to get his toenails clipped. Ever watch YouTube? Toenail ingrown cutting, it's gross, but it's all. Oh, oh, baby, yes. I have watched not ingrown toenails, but I've watched uh, Pimple Popper. The Pimple Popper MD. Has anybody watched her? I think it was Pimple Popper MD. Oh my God, I love to see, um, yeah, I love to see her cut into them and like pop them. The, um, what are the ones that uh, you get underneath your skin that, and they sometimes they get the big bump on them and like you have to go in and there's a sack and take it out. You did watch her? Yeah, I when I first found YouTube, I used to stay up so late watching Pimple Popper. <laughs> it is gross, baby. I've got a pimple popping addiction. <laughs> it's sick. <laughs> but I'm not alone because there's a lot of people that watch her. Bo yes! 
I watch bot flies too. Who else watch bots watches bot flies? <laughs> Who else? Does anybody else watch that stuff? The bot fly stuff? <laughs> Put this over here. Ah, I, I don't know why this keeps doing that. Oh, because I oh okay, because my thing. Okay. All right, I'm gonna change this over. It makes you hurl. Yeah, some people get really grossed out by it. And some people, it doesn't bother them at all. I don't know. I have to figure this stand out first. <laughs> Here we go. No, no, no. What was I looking for? <laughs> Bot flies are cool. Chinese tone trimming is sick. Oh, wow. oh, yes. Oh, my God. I watch, um, I started to watch foot videos where they were doing like, um, yeah, like foot surgery, not foot surgery, surgery, but like gross things with feet. I couldn't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I don't think I could do that. Honestly. And I think... I don't know why. I'm just putting this on wrong or something. It's making me mad that I'm doing this wrong. Let me undo that. And just put it like that. There we go. That's what I was to do. I knew there was something I was supposed to do. <laughs> okay, and then put that like that. I'm learning how to do this, you guys. <laughs> Now what did I do? Na, 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 There we go. Inches of dead skin. Oh, so gross. One time, um, oh, when we were on the um, People's Convoy, I went, I think I was in California, and I got a pedicure. And, oh, my God, from walking around with flip-flops on at all those truck stops and shit. And like, she was like, like this. And it was so dirty, all that dirty skin. It was so gross, so gross. But my feet felt so fucking wonderful, like silk. <laughs> they were so soft. I wanted to feel, I got turned on by my own feet. That's how soft my feet were. <laughs> she did a really good job. Oh, I love it when my feet look nice. <laughs> you wear flip-flops over six months a year. Uh, that I want to live somewhere where it's warm. I want to be where it's warm enough I can wear my flip-flops. Ooh, yeah, truck stop showers. I wear my flip-flops when I go in the shower. When Whenever I'm at um, like a truck stop or anything like that. And isn't it post a post uh, I can't say it all post uh, I saw you on here post elliptic is that there you go supreme post Apoc apocalypse warlord <laughs> are you the one that makes the videos of me <laughs> that's pretty funny I do like those videos I think they're pretty funny oh no 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 no, no flip-flops in the snow. I don't like to be cold. Those truckers had gnarly elbows and skin. Yeah. Yeah, when you look at the people going in and out, sometimes you want to make sure you wear your flip-flops. Just saying. Lori, he's a tree rat fan. Yes, that's what I thought he was. I know he is because he's always, um, he's always making videos. And I say he. I don't know why I say he. <laughs> I do actually like them. I think they're funny as hell. <laughs> but I like to laugh at myself, so. <clears throat> kind of breaks up. Humor breaks up any situation. I think it's fun to make fun of each other a little bit here and there. <laughs> as long as you can take it. <laughs> Most women smell fishy. That's gross. Uh, oh, jeez, we got some of these people here. So, oh, da, 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 da. oh, there we go. Okay. 
See, y'all are putting me to the test. I told you I was a virgin. <laughs> I tried to tell you not to give me a really hard time tonight. <laughs> Be gentle. It's my first time without mods. Be gentle. I'm like a flower. Be, I'm a delicate, delicate flower. Be gentle. <laughs> Hi, Shiok. How are you tonight? It's nice to see you here. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. I've seen you around here and there in chats. <laughs> it's nice to see you here. I'm glad you came in. We're not doing anything really exciting tonight. <laughs> oh, game dev. Hey, I'm not doing anything exciting tonight. It's just Survivor Sunday. We're just talking about survivors and stuff. So, and we got the trolls coming in. <laughs> see, I know. They're just coming in. We got to start hiding. I got to start hiding them in jet. And, but eventually we will get to it. <laughs> Rona La, an angry man. That's funny. <laughs> Eagle Whisper. Hi. <clears throat> Are you hungry? Oh, we almost were talking about bugs that lay eggs in your body. Oh, the bot flies and shit. Yes. Oh my God. Yes, we turned back, Ellie. Sunday, we turned back and Tuesday, we vote. Don't forget to vote, folks. But yes, bot flies. Oh my God. I love to watch those videos where they pull them out of like this. It's like there's this big thing in like a cheek of a squirrel or something and they start pulling it out and it's this big ass long can you imagine knowing that there was a worm in your body and they start pulling it out? Oh, so gross. Oh. I hate time change too. Rotten. God. Oh. You vote by mail. Ah, dude, I don't know if I... Ch I don't know if I trust the mail for anything anymore. So, <laughs> you have nightmares? Oh, Tuesday is the red full moon. Ooh, that sounds pretty. Oh, yeah, today is Sunday. Duh! I said it was Survivor Sunday. So, yes, they do turn back today. Duh! And, yes, it is gross, Supreme. Ruth. <laughs> It's pitch. I know I made a fire. So you guys, I made a fire tonight all myself. I did. I made it with no gas or any cheating stuff. I put um rabbit hair. Huh? Who knew rabbit hair and straw would start a really hot fire? But Survivor, we got things we got to do. If he stunk, would you tell him? It depends. Probably not. I don't usually go about telling people that they stink if they can't do anything about it. I suppose it would depend on the situation, huh? <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Uh, Arizona and Hawaii are the only two states that don't turn back. Really? I hated that. When we lived in Michigan, we would go to school and church in Indiana. So that time difference, one would change and the other wouldn't. So like Indiana would change and, um, or Michigan would change and Indiana didn't, however it goes. But a lot of young voters this midterm. A lot of young voters. That's interesting, baby. I'd let someone know if these things. <sighs> yeah. Uh, you know, it depends on the situation. It depends on who it is and if they can do anything about it. Who knows? <laughs> it depends, smells in what way. <laughs> uh, 
Well, if he stinks because he just cleared two acres of brush, that's one thing. And if it's because he sits in a lawn chair for two months at the mall without a shower. Yeah, you know what? I used to work at a credit union where the farmers, a farmer's credit union. So, no, I guess if a farmer came in and he stinks like pigs, I wouldn't tell him. I mean, who the hell knows? Um, Ruth, isn't there a part of Indiana that doesn't change the clock? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I just know if I have to or not. Oh, wow. Your fourth son's first time voting. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Go in person. Don't do that by mail. Go in person. That's awesome. That's uh, I love brown sugar. You voted all red. And game dev says vote all blue. <laughs> How about don't vote all one party? Vote for who's the best candidate. Yeah, vote for the best candidate and not a party. That's Lori's plug out there. You can say whatever you want in here, but. All right. Uh, it was on the news. Turn out. Oh, wow. Maybe it would be interesting to see the young people get involved. It really would. Name one thing that has gone down in price since Biden has been in office. I'll leave that for someone else because I got nothing. Oh, I know your 401k is down by 25%. I know like everything is going to every the prices of everything are going up. There we go. Name one thing that has gone down in price. <laughs> the prices of every the no one thing that's gone down. I can't think of anything. You got a grandson that can vote now. Oh, Bali, that'll make you feel old, dude. <laughs> yeah, I want to. I want to get a ballot and go vote myself. I like to go vote. Gavin Newsom needs to take a high. Oh, yeah, I'm surprised Gavin Newsom. They've tried to get him out a few times, haven't they? Oh yeah, Brown Sugar says your 401k has gone down. It is their future. Yeah, I think we need to get young people involved. I don't think they have all the answers like they think they do, but I think that they have a lot of energy. They have uh, time and energy that they could definitely put into, and they're smarts. So. Your price of your love went down. It only costs 500000 now. <laughs> Game Dev, that's funny. <laughs> the price of your love should go up, dude. We need to be more expensive now, I guess. The price of love even has had to go up because you can't, you can't even afford like a dinner um, at McDonald's for under $20. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you voted for Mickey Mouse. <laughs> uh, whoa, $20 more. For, I was wondering about the turkeys, if people could even afford the turkeys. <laughs> oh, Junior, hi, California. Hey, riding the waves. <laughs> I want to go to California. Oh, you were worth 500000 I see. Okay. <clears throat> You're on sale. <laughs> Game devs on sale, everyone. Starting bid. <laughs> uh. Hi, Nur oh, Nurse D. I hope that uh, Aunt got a hold of you and gave you my information. Um, I got your message and I want to talk to you, but I didn't know how to get a hold of you. I'm so bad at Twitter, guys. I'm learning. I'm learning Twitter and oh, what's the other one? I can't think of what the other one was. There's a bunch of them. So, yeah.
22 pound turkey for $16. Is that good or bad? I don't know anymore. Let's see, 20. Oh, that's under a dollar a pound though. Ninety-nine cents a pound. You know what I do? I wait until they go on sale after Thanksgiving, and they're really cheap, and then I buy them for Spike. Hmm. Ah, okay, King Dev. I'll have to go look over on Twitter. <clears throat> Night, Night Brown Sugar. Brown sugar. I love brown sugar. What is that song? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Brown sugar. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I know. The trolls are in. Yours was $50. $50 for 22-pound turkey? Wow. That's not under a dollar a pound. I don't know, brown sugar. Oh, seriously, Sheehawk, a turkey shirt. That's what I was going to ask. Has anybody gotten there? Um, has We're not going to talk about AP, guys. Sorry, brown sugar. Um, so has anybody had trouble getting a turkey, I guess, is what I'm... Oh, really, nurse? Or, uh, Wendy, Okay. Damn, game dev, I wish I could come by. <laughs> I would drive down there for a really good dinner. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, we do get the trolls in here. <laughs> I'm learning how to do this shit. You can't find a turkey, Wendy? I think that I would rather have um, chicken anyway. 20 bucks for a 15 pounder. That's not too bad. Your, your neighbor's turkeys like to go through mom's flower beds. Well, Ruth, um, bring them over here. I'll, I'll get you some turkeys for dinner then. <laughs> I've been wanting to do a uh, process a turkey. <laughs> Walmart is $1.54 a pound. I'm used to them being under a dollar. Ooh, Boston butt. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, Nurse D says, uh, Wendy, that Aldi's has them. There's quite a few people over in California I'd like to go visit, honestly. Um, oh, ham. I don't, I don't like ham very much, but um, I really just like the fixings anyway. I don't do so much the turkey even. Um, <laughs> I like the mashed potatoes. I like the casseroles, um, like especially like sweet potato casserole, green bean casserole, corn casserole, um, noodles, definitely the mashed potatoes, noodles, um, Salad, I like salad. Rolls, I love bread. So rolls, pie, um, a lot of times, uh, like sometimes broccoli salads. I mean, there's all kinds of stuffing. Yes, how could I forget stuffing? Stuffing is the most important. A good homemade stuffing, especially sage. I love sage stuffing. Or like a pecan and sausage stuffing. Southern California. Cheating at KFC. <laughs> she likes those chocolate cakes, huh? Oh, you don't eat pork. Yep, the stuffing is the best. <laughs> and mac and cheese. Yes, mac and cheese. Mm. Ooh, feisty mama cornbread. Oh, deviled eggs. Yes, deviled eggs. La lemon lush. What else? Small turkey breast from wild pork. Ooh, you ordered all the sides too, huh? The 
Vegetable Mac Pack Salad. What is Vegetable Mac Pack Salad? I don't know what that is. Definitely the deviled eggs. Ooh, Orange County. I'd like to go visit Orange County. I've just heard about it, but I just got my dinner on to worry. You don't have to worry about it anymore. Bacon. Ooh, bacon wrapped green beans. That does sound good. What else? I'd like sweet potato casserole for like a dessert with the pecans and the marshmallows on top. Deer meat, turkey, and duck with, ooh, James, you're just having venison. Yeah, hey, James has venison, Spike. <laughs> He's not waking up. Hi, Shannon. Nice to see you. Yeah, Spike doesn't care, but venison does sound good. Oh, I'm getting hot flash. Hold on, hot flash time. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, oh yes, now we talk desserts. I like the breads. So I like stuffing, I like the rolls. Um, what else? The, like the pumpkin pies. I like lemon meringue pie. Yes, hot flashes. Um, chocolate. Chocolate uh, cream pie. Oh, it's mac and cheese with, ba ooh, bacon. Okay, mac and cheese with bacon, onion, jalapenos, mayo, and cucumbers served cold with breadcrumbs in the... I just, I can't even figure that out. So that does sound like something that would be neat to try. Real butter, yes. Oh, fruit salad. Okay, yeah, homemade fruit salad, like the real stuff, not the can. Oh, 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 cranberries, cranberries. I forgot about cranberries. Oh, you guys are making me hungry. Cranberries is good with turkey. Cranberry sauce, maybe. Oh, pecan pie and key lime. Okay, I'm starting to get into the key lime thing a little bit. But I love those little pecan tartlets. Those are good. Mmm. I used to go to this one lady, um, it was a family member of my husband's, and they would make um, turkeys, three different turkeys. So there was a fried turkey, a baked turkey, and what else did they do? Fry, bake. What else did they do? They fried one, they baked one. What else do you do? Pecan tassies, yes. What do you, how else would you make that? You bake it, you fry it. How else do you make a turkey? Boil it? No. <laughs> what am I missing? I know I'm missing away. Turkey Tifa. Smoke, yes, smoke, smoke. Smoke turkey. We would have turkey three different ways. Three turkeys. Huh. Three turkeys. And then, um, yeah, thanks. Feisty Mama, that's another way, is roasting. But no, it, it was... It was definitely the uh, smoking, um, yeah. And so you could have, I mean like, and I don't even eat that much meat. I really enjoy the, uh, the sides, so. <laughs> Smoke tastes like ham. Yeah, it does, it has a different taste to it. I've always like roasted. How big is my family? Me, right now, it's me. <laughs> but no, my family was never very big. I had a couple kids and me and my husband, so. We've never had real big families, so. Smoked beefalo? Beefalo, is that, what is beefalo? Is it like part beef and part buffalo or something? Yes, three turkeys she got. Three! How many people did we have there? Let me think. Two, three, four. There were probably over a dozen people though. I would say that too. Yeah, there were probably at least a dozen people, and they had three turkeys. Yeah. I think they just like to do it three different ways, and it was a three-way Thanksgiving. Ha! <laughs> the turkeys had a three-way. <laughs> oh, must be the hot flash. Blame the hot flash. <laughs> Tatanke equals buffalo. Tatanke. Did I say that right? Tatanke? Leftovers, yeah. I love Thanksgiving leftovers. 
Shannon's at Euphora's away, but you are more than welcome here. Oh, just you, your mom, and your sis. Well, thank you, Shannon. I might take you up on that. We'll see. <laughs> How I bake mine. I put butter under the skin. Yes, onions and lemons. Ooh, salt and pepper and thyme. Ooh, that sounds really good. Top it with bacon. Tatanka. 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 I like that word. Tatanka. Buffalo tatanka. Bison. Oh, you can talk all you want, Shannon. <laughs> Are we not allowed to talk about politics at the at the at the uh, table? <laughs> Nurse D, check. Tatanka. Tatanka. That seems like a neat name. What is this? I found a bunch of cards here. Let's see. Alice's Restaurant. Oh, Paul, you go to Alice's Restaurant? That was the saddest part about being depressed and not going to holidays. I'd sit here and I wouldn't have any food. And I knew they were eating such good food. I just didn't have it in me to go to the to the holidays, but I would have some nice friends that would sometimes bring me a plate. <laughs> or I'd get invited to um, other people's families, and that's always nice. I like to go to, like, my best friend's family would let me come over um, to Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff like that because <clears throat> I don't have family anymore, really, other than, like, my kids don't celebrate, really, we don't really celebrate anything as a family anymore. So um, it's nice to go and just celebrate with other people. We used to go to the movies on thing, or on uh, Christmas. We might all be crying come Thanksgiving. I know, when we can't afford to eat. <laughs> the Arlo Guthrie Nam protest song. You use lemons and onions to make, ooh. All right, we're all going to Game Dev's house. <laughs> we should have a potluck Thanksgiving. <laughs> that would be fun. Oh, you know what would be fun is to go like to one house for Thanksgiving, like lunch, and then go to like another place maybe for dessert. <laughs> oh, Alice's restaurant was a famous 70s protest song. Now I get it, Polly. Sorry. I don't know how that goes. Alice's Restaurant. I'll have to look it up now. I do too. I like potluck dinners because you just get a little bit of everything. I like to taste. Oh, oh, oh. I like um, broccoli. Broccoli cheese casserole. Like a broccoli rice casserole. Cheesy rice casserole. Oh, thanks, Game Dev. Bring Aunt. <laughs> More than five people. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know how we are. We're all, like, always by ourselves. <laughs> we should all meet up in the spring. That would be really cool, She-Hawk. I'll check it out, Polly. You can get anything you want at Alice's Restaurant. <laughs> if you cook, you don't clean. Yes, yes, that's true. We learned that when we were kids the the we always had to go and help with the dishes uh well we had to do the dishes actually kids i make broccoli and cheese bake too yeah that sounds really good i used to make that for like uh carrying casseroles um for like work and stuff you what put broccoli um cheese rice and a whole bunch of stuff in a crock pot i think is what i did I stuff a smoked turkey with Granny Smith apples. Do you make it apple stuffing or just apples? Yeah, broccoli rice. Oh, did you get Aunt to play it? I've got to get a way to play stuff. I don't even have a TV, guys. I watch my phone. That's what I watch. <laughs> make sweet potato pie. Ooh, that sounds good, baby. I made that once with like that... Um, 
condensed, sweetened condensed milk, and you put it in with the sweet potatoes and stuff. Oh my God. Oh, with pecans. Woo. Mmm. -hmm. Like a crumble. <laughs> game, game, game says that, baby, you're making the dessert. <laughs> I agree. Okay. We got some dessert makers here. Flower Child's putting apples. That sounds good. Granny Smith apples. Those are nice and tart. That's my favorite of the apples. I like caramel apples, you guys. And I keep getting disappointed because I buy caramel apples at like Kroger's. And they have those just regular, almost tasteless sweet apples. And I want a crispy, crunchy, tart apple that has that wonderful caramel around it with the nuts and everything. Oh, oh my God, Game Dev making cheesecakes with jello toppers. <laughs> okay, Game Dev will trade. Two, too many cheesecakes with jello toppers for <laughs> what? <laughs> Come on, for babies? Baby's dessert? <laughs> One slice? We'll just trade them? <laughs> I am getting hungry too. Uh, they do. They use the wimpy damn apples. Opal. I've never had one. Opal apple. I like something with a little... Uh, Fiji is good too. I like Fiji apples. Ah, I don't like coconut, she -hawk. What happened to all my furniture? Oh, it's it's not a big deal um, because I'm getting divorced uh, and I wasn't staying here for a while. Um, I had said I don't have anywhere to take it. So I had told my husband that he could take the furniture. Um, and so he we have to get rid of it. We have to get the furniture out and stuff because we're in a cell house. So the furniture is gone. <laughs> That's what happened. It's not anything nefarious. It's just it's not here. Uh Hi, Tanya. Mini cheesecake. Yeah, and Polly wants some mini cheesecake too. Check out all these for Chris Tingle apples. Oh, Nurse D, okay. I need to go to all these tomorrow anyway. I gotta go get some groceries, so. I'm thinking about making egg rolls tomorrow. If you get, um, let me see what, let's see what I'll just say. Oh, Feisty Mama, you give out candy apples? Oh, that sounds like, that sounds good. Do you just put the nuts on them? Because I like the nuts. Let's make a caramel apple, chewy caramel this time of year. That was really good. Didn't see that. Oh, I haven't seen the Werther's one, but that does sound good. <laughs> what are we going to drink? Um, I would say beer would be the best, but. <laughs> you got egg rolls at the moment? Okay, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Since I ran out of Coca-Cola, uh, she went. I did not go for an egg roll. Now look at. I got myself a damn beer. <laughs> I'm at home. I can drink. <laughs> okay, egg rolls. We got to talk egg rolls. No, 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 no. Not Aldi brand egg rolls. I'm going to make egg rolls. I love to make egg rolls. It's so easy. Um, you can buy, um, you buy a bag of coleslaw mix and um sausage the i use the uh spicy sausage and you fry that all up mix it together um you can put some eggs you can or, or not eggs uh you can put some carrots you can put green onion and stuff in it but you just mix it in there uh it just needs a little bit of soy sauce and some different little bit of seasoning and then you put it in your egg roll wrappers and you make homemade sweet and sour sauce and it, it takes a can of crushed pineapple, some ketchup, and some brown sugar. 
and some cornstarch. And you mix it all together on the stove. It becomes kind of thicker and bubbly. And there's your sweet and sour sauce for your egg rolls. You can freeze them and then like just put them in a bag and then just as you want them, um, take them out of the freezer and throw them in the, hot, uh, in the oil. I'm telling you, that'll last me for a few days because I love egg rolls. I'll just eat them and eat them and eat them. And Macintosh, yes, those are good apples too. Game Dev, it's so easy. You, you take your uh, wrapper and you put a little bit of the stuff in the middle and you flip over, flip over. You have to have a little water, you know, to dab it. Uh, you know what? I should, how about we should all make egg rolls tomorrow? Do you guys want to make egg rolls with me? <laughs> should, should tomorrow be egg roll Monday? Tomorrow night, we can all make egg rolls tomorrow. <laughs> Do you guys want to make egg rolls with Lori? Egg rolls with Lori tomorrow? Yeah, Nursty? I've been making these since high school. This was at my home ec. We learned how to make egg rolls in home ec. <laughs> and they're the best, man. I love homemade egg rolls. Let's make egg rolls tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow night. What time is best for everybody? What time should we do this? After five, maybe. A Twitter's guide to fine dining. <laughs> Not fine dining. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, well, it's not fine dining. What kind of dining would we be? <laughs> oh, no, baby. We were having a good time here. Why you say that? No. <laughs> Lori's Monday cookie. Yes, we'll have a Monday cooking show. <laughs> Let's have a Monday cooking show tomorrow. <laughs> Feisty mama, you took five years of home economics? Mm. Let me tell you, my egg rolls are not like necessarily oriental egg rolls, exactly as they would be, but they're mine. Ooh, cherry pie filling. Mm. Do you guys know how to make homemade donuts out of bread? I know, She-Hawk. Around six, James? Okay, let's do it around six. That sounds like a good time to make dinner, doesn't it? And it takes a little bit of time, so I might go ahead and fry up the uh, sausage ahead of time. You love it, and you learn a lot. Hi, Bunny. Oh, are we sure, Sarah, that it's Big D? Uh -huh. How does anybody bring... Mm. Abusers make light of their bad behavior. Yes, they do. It came in handy. You raised five daughters? I bet he'll make help with five daughters. You're right, Ellie. She is a little old. Um, she's a little old to pre be pretending she's... A child too, isn't she? But she still does role play online porn. So uh, for underage role play, maybe we can drink champion tomorrow night. You mean champagne? If a certain court sending, <laughs> yes, flower child. We may have a celebration tomorrow. Woo, woo. <laughs> I'm starting the celebration early just in case. You got yingling, I <laughs> think. Wendy, they have a fire truck, an RV, a truck, a car. They got plenty of money. You doubt she's knocked up? Oh, my God. she hog had four. Six. If you agree at six, press one, says James. <laughs> James says six o'clock, press one. <laughs> What did Shannon say? My mom had five kids. Dad died. Oh, wow. Whoa. And then my brothers died in 1983. All of your brothers? Or how many brothers did you have? That's hard on your mom. Man, to have your dad die. Can you imagine having your husband die and then have a couple of your kids die? I don't know how many 
sons, Shannon. Two. Oh, wow, man. We, some of our ancestors have gone through some really hard shit. Yeah, Vaughn says, I'm not waking up to watch him end up getting away with this fiasco. Won't give streamers my time. I, I'm with you, Vaughn. I'm not waking up at 8.30 to watch either. <laughs> I'll, I'll find out what happens when I wake up. <laughs> I'm with you, girl. And honestly, Vaughn, I'm done talking about stupid, inconsequential people who are just trying to get attention. And I don't mean you. But I mean, like, they are trying to get you to give them attention because everybody is stopping giving them attention. So um, I think just that's what I'm going to do, too. As many of them as I can. I know the abuse has to be broken or it will go on. Yes, you have to break it. I got a burp now from this beer. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. You raised two little gentlemen, and I don't have any kids, but took care of... Oh, you took care of your sister's kids. Game dev, you don't have to pop them out your body to, to be a mama or to help somebody be a mama. Sometimes being the mama isn't the fun part. It's not the, the most influential part. My grandma was the biggest part of my life. I wonder if it will hinder the movie business or increase revenue. I know. Very sorry, Shannon. We got people showing support to you in here and <laughs> for you, you and your mama. Oh my God, Ellie, are you are, are you telling me the truth? They're gonna name him Freedom. Oh, yeah, feisty. You're right. She was her mama was a very strong woman. A lot of people's mamas are strong women. We've had a lot of strong women in this nation. Can you imagine some of these women? And like, even now, giving birth to five kids isn't as big a deal as it was back then. Polly, you're going to be retired, so you'll be watching. Okay, She-Hawk, we'll, we'll be here. I know, feisty mama. It's time... I'm over them too, as far as, as much as possible. I'm done giving them the content, uh, rich, talking about people who just want to be noticed. I'm out to stop and put people in jail now. <laughs> Weak burp, but, but I can do, I'll get you a good one. The Coca-Cola gives me good burps, huh? You are welcome, Shannon. I think we should all try to support each other in here. Yeah, times were tough back then. Your mom had seven and lost two. Wow. Seven kids? Oh, I, I just can't even imagine having seven kids. Me too, Polly. I'm kind of curious about it too. I wonder if uh, he'll get away with it or not. We'll see. I don't get too excited about that kind of shit because I, you get all excited because you think he's going to jail and he doesn't. And then I get all excited because I think I'm not going to go to jail and then I end up do <laughs> or get a restraining order. I think, nah, there's no possibility of this shit. It's possible because it's not true. And then all of a sudden there they fucking are. <laughs> Whoa, nine kids? No. You guys, you. Some make their abuse sickness very normal. If a child is abused, they think it happens to everyone. Yes, me too. Uh, be to you. That's what I was saying earlier is, you know, like as the example was, um, was that because it was normalized for me to go to Christmas with um, a sex offender, that then I brought my son into it. Um, 
as a baby, I didn't know any better. And it, it took somebody telling me that's not normal. I need to wipe my nose. This season gets you drippy. But some people, um, they just... Some people, it's they don't know better. Other people, they become enablers or um, actual abusers. <gasps> Darla wins. Ding, ding. My mom had 18 kids and lost a set of twins. Damn. 18 kids. Wow. Oh, just beat game dev. It's a friend. Oh, I almost dropped my beer. Well, it sounds like most people are going to be eating something good for Thanksgiving. <laughs> I was going to show you. So... I was thinking about this today because I was talking to some people and I was like, you know, it's not normal. You are the baby of them all. Oh, wow. I bet you got a lot of people to help take care of you if you get problems. Like, you know, like it, when you're in school. Let's see. Like, I was remembering... Um, I'm not sure. Just the way that people, the people, way that people, um, respond to things. The way that they, it get. Everybody responds differently to um, abuse. And like I said before, some, some become where they can't stand it. They advocate against it. And then there's others who actually bring others into it and become abusers or help the abusers. So... Darla says, as three little ones was taken away from her and put into abusive new family... Darla. Ray says, I don't know. I know this is not Dom's chat, but I don't understand what happened about his father. I am missing some information on that situation for sure. Ray, so am I. I don't really know. <clears throat> All that I know from what I've heard Dom say is that his father was killed by a man who uh was let out of jail because of covid and he was upset about and um he and he's the one that introduced him this man that killed his father to his father dom is very big on second chances and there's a reason for that have you noticed that people who excuse pedophiles and any, all kinds of deviant behavior like that? Have you? Yes. He took a friend home to stay with his dad and the guy killed him. Yes. So have you noticed that people who really, really, really need a second chance are very, very big on everybody getting second chances? Like, look at black conservative preacher. The man cheated on his wife recently. Got caught. He believes in second chances for pedophiles now. Dom is a drama queen. Y'all think that Dom is this poor, innocent little victim. Dom is not a poor, innocent little victim. Okay? Dom is just as big a part of all this shit as everybody else. Dom is in on what is going on just like everybody else. He's not some poor little innocent victim, guys. Okay? He's not, I know he's mentally doesn't seem like he's as smart as everybody else, but this guy, he's in on this shit too. 
There's just no way. Not anymore. He's either being used to the extreme or... <laughs> yeah, Ray says, Dom, Dom tries to say he's a Christian. Man, that guy had me fooled. Yeah. No, don't believe it. Just how much of a criminal situation are we talking about with Dom? Is Dom the guy he says he tries to say he is? Uh, I don't know what all he was put in jail for. I don't know. Uh, Von Michelle says he was told by me that he makes poor choices. That was it. His new sidekick told him that I said it was over a safe. Go watch my video. I never even knew about a safe. So it's just, yeah, it's just uh, the rat drama queen. Okay. Bon, yeah, he's not a victim. No, he's a troublemaker, Shiok says. Yes, yes, he's a troublemaker who does it with his, oh, I'm going to spread love. I'm spreading love everywhere. While he flips the fucking American flag around and hits it on the ground, drops it, throws it in the air like a fucking fool. And he dances for you like a little fucking dancing monkey. Have you noticed that a lot of these people are like dancing monkeys? Have you noticed all the dings on their phones? Listen for all the dings and then all of a sudden the crazy behavior that you see. It makes you wonder, who's controlling what these people do? Are they really as crazy as we think? Or are they being told what to do? Just asking questions to think about guys if you have friends that are willing to pull the trigger what kind of friends are they yeah bond michelle says so rat boy threatened my life yet again hashtag pattern of behavior he threatens everybody lady <laughs> everybody they're all nuts his disrespect of our flag drives me nuts. Yes, Wendy. It drives me nuts too. Ah, uh, watching him flip that flag. Okay, so I was talking to somebody who was a Marine and they said that there is flag twirling like that, how, whatever you call it, like a dancing flag stuff, but there's rules to it. It's like it's an art because it's the American flag. She never said he showed the guy his father had a safe. Yeah. <clears throat> Puny man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a sn you made me snort, Winnie. <laughs> I have to thank you guys. You've been really good in the chat for my virgin adventure all by myself. We've done okay. It's been a gentle journey. Thank you for being gentle on my first time, folks. <laughs> we had a couple people try to get in. No, 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 no. Virgin time. Be nice. <laughs> no trolls. I know. I watched him. Uh, five people there. I know. I watched him flipping around that flag and dancing around. I'm like, how dumb. This is, this is somehow saving America, right? They want you to donate to them because they're saving America. No, they're having a fucking party. <laughs> we broke into Virgin says, <laughs> Wendy, you're with me for my first time. Y'all are here with me. This first journey by myself. <laughs> yep, from now on, if you get muted, it's because I fucking don't want to listen to you. <laughs> How about that? I love, listen, I love a lot of my mods. I'm not bad mouthing anybody, guys. I love my mods, I promise. I, but I'm just saying, I'm going, I'm going on this now, and this is my first time without having backup like that, so I need the help. I'm glad that you've been gentle with me. <laughs> they said they were expecting me. <laughs> well, I'm not in Missouri. 
I'm not wasting my time to go down and stop flag dancing. <laughs> mm. Cunning. Hi. I haven't uh, seen your um I haven't seen your uh interview. I thought I saw that you did an interview the other day. Um and I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. I hope that went well for you. I hope that did I hope that you you were able to get out and speak out and the band was terrible. Five people. I know. I was like, oh, thank God I didn't go down there. I knew that was going to be a flop. They were passing around dehydrated pumpkin in Ron's chant, chat. So we think we got content. <laughs> oh, did he have Rat Boy coaching him? <laughs> yeah, I'm not driving to Missouri for five people. I did go on a trip recently, though, guys. I've been going around. I just don't always tell you everywhere I go. I've been going around. Um, uh, I went in Indiana. Um, I uh, drove around to some other states, and I visited some people. Um, I just haven't always put everything on video, so I'm doing a lot that you don't see. So they don't always know what I'm doing. Yeah, I just thought the music was okay, She-Hawk. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really listen to it. It wasn't so awful that I was going, ugh. Okay, you say it cunning. Um, there was a decent burp. You say you know too much? You'll get over it, girl. I'm going to go watch it. I promise. I'm going to watch it. Um, honestly, with all the shit that's been going on, um... I, if you saw my little video uh, about uh, don't trust anybody, shit's been going on that I'm not going to talk about right this minute, but I don't trust anybody anymore. And I'm just saying that I'm pulling back so people do not be offended. I am pulling back from a lot of people, from a lot of other streamers and stuff. I'm pulling back into my own stuff because honestly, I just don't fucking trust anybody anymore. So um, I just wanted you guys to understand that. Um, I may pop in here and there at, on, in other streamers, but I am not going to be involved like I have been before with a lot of other streamers, okay? Um, I'm not talking about like Ant and stuff, but I mean, I'm just talking about like all these other <laughs> things and I'm... I'm going on my own now and we're going to start uh, figuring some shit out. I'm not going to be trusting Lori anymore. So I just want you to know that and don't be offended. Okay. Now cunning. I want to get back to you. Uh, I was so nervous, but I'm proud of myself. It was a personal goal. Girl, I love it. I can't wait to watch it. I support you in this. Um, yay. I'm glad you did it. I'm glad it went okay. I'm glad that you feel good about it. Did anybody else see it? Mags and Mr. Mags were pissed that so many ants were in Tom's chat. <laughs> uh. I know game dev. I, uh, I know. I, it's, I just, I've gotten fucked and, and stabbed in the back too much. And I'm finding out, I have found out some really big shit. And it's like got it got so overwhelming that I just wanted to take a break. So we're proud of you, Cunning. We're proud of you. We really are. It's hard to go on like one of these things, isn't it? It's hard to go on here and let everybody um, judge you and uh, sharing your your stuff. But it, I'm proud of you that you did it. Really proud of you. Oh, that's in your backyard. I know, Vaughn. I know, guys. <sighs> I was so trusting. I've trusted so many people. And don't be offended if I don't trust you right off the bat anymore. Um, unless I've actually met you and I actually know that you um, are being honest. I'm not going to be trusting people as much anymore. I know, She-Hawk, I do miss people's streams, though. 
Oh yeah, Wendy, America 2.0 put out that. Oh, I was so hot about that. What the hell? Vern was putting all that shit about America. You guys, America has given me, seriously, I'm gonna just put it out there. He gave me $10 once, okay? America 2.0 gave me $10 once. So if they think he's some big funder of us, <laughs> just saying. Anyway, they got pissed off, huh? I'm staying away out of their chats and shit for the most part. Honestly, I got in one today because I saw Ant in there, but. America's a good guy, Vaughn. Yeah, I think he's a pretty good guy too so far. But then again, I don't trust anybody anymore. So I don't know who anybody fucking is anymore. <laughs> well, my beer's gone. So. I guess it's time to go goodbye. <laughs> I'll see y'all tomorrow, though. He does a good presentation. Okay, guys, I'm leaving. I gotta go. Do I trust Doofus? Ray, I don't trust anybody, but I like Doofus. How's that? I like Doofus. Do I trust him? No, I don't trust anybody, but I like Doofus. I like all of you. Y'all are nice. <laughs> But I'm, I'm going to go. Well, tomorrow we're going to make egg rolls at 6 o'clock my time. So 6 o'clock my time in Indiana. I don't know what time that is you. I'm going to, I'll make a, um, a pre, what is that? Uh, like that my live will be coming up, but okay. Okay, Wendy. Light Shiok Night Uno, Cunning, Von Michelle, Wendy, Ray. Ruth, oh, I got everybody here. Uh, there's a bunch of you. Nurse D, game dev. <laughs> You're going to send David after me. Well, that's already been done. Uh -huh. What time is it now? Um, Just a second. Let me look. 40 here, okay? Tanya. She-hawk. See ya. Yeah, it's, uh, what did I say, 940? 940. So, oh, did I say 8.40 or no? I think I said 9.40. So I'll be here at 6. I'll, and I'll set my thing on on um for my live coming up. But we'll make egg rolls tomorrow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Unicorn egg rolls. Hmm. Peace out.